still I feel a lot that the mentality of people is that women don't deserve as much. It's heartbreaking, it's, it's terrible. I think if you're doing the same, same thing, you should be compensated the same, you should be given the same opportunities, uh, regardless of your gender, regardless of where you're coming from, regardless of anything. You know, if, if you're good at something, that should be it. I think a lot of the conversation is being had because it's politically correct. Um, they might hire someone, pay someone, this and that, you know, because it's politically correct. But for the future, I think it would be great to, to live in a world where if you're qualified and, and knowledgeable and an asset, then, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. Miriam is, uh, is my girlfriend. Um, we've been together for over three years now. Uh, she is also, also a player on the tour. She's about 130 in the world now. Seeing the female tour um, and, and female athletes as well, just not being compensated in uh, the same way as the men. Um, it, it just sucks. For myself talking to her and just being like, what do you mean it's not like that? It's not like that for you guys? Like, that's crazy, you know? For like one example, it's like in their challenger level, they don't have tournaments with hospitality. Like they don't have free accommodation, which in the men's, it's completely normal. You have a challenger, you have free accommodation. And for me, it's like, why is it different? It just doesn't make sense, you know? It's the same prize money of the tournament. Everything's the same. Why do they feel like women shouldn't be compensated for the hotel, you know? like. There's a lot of things like that, small things that you're just like, this doesn't make sense. Or the champion of the women's tournament is getting $30,000. For a guy, I mean, I made the finals of a 250 a couple weeks ago in the finals, I made $100,000, you know, and it's, it's just not even close. And then you can argue and say if women aren't selling as much tickets or whatnot. But then I'm going to these girls matches and the, the stadiums are packed. I would understand it if it's empty or whatnot, you know, maybe some places tougher to sell, some this, that. But if you're playing a tournament and the stadium's packed, and then your point is that you're not selling the same tickets, which is, it just doesn't make sense to me. I remember Miriam qualifying for 250. I'm like, oh, this is great. Like, you're gonna get like six, $7,000 just to be a main draw or whatever it is. And she's like, Dennis, like, I think it's like a thousand dollars. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, how is that possible? She was playing Savile and the stadium was packed and they were playing for like a thousand dollars or something to make the second round. It was something like, it was such a small amount. And it was a crazy intense match. The quality was unbelievable. I took a pictures of the stands cause I'm like, like, I don't understand how how the men, they win a match, you're getting 25,000, whatever. And the women, they're winning the same match and they're getting $1,000. And the people are the same watching it, you know? I mean, I think it's headed in a good direction. Female tennis has gotten a lot more popular. I'd like to see it continue to, to grow and develop into, into a stage where it's completely equal, both on men's and women's side, and there's no, uh, there's no differences in, in the prize money and in the way that the players are treated. Also, I think a nice thing would do is just to, to have a tour where all the tournaments are the same. So all the calendar, you know, it's men's and women's every single week. Um, I think it's easy for the fans. I think it's easy for equality um, would be good as as uh, as a fan, just to know that every every week, you know, you're not looking, okay, where's the men playing? Okay, where's the women playing? You know, it's very confusing as well. With the lessons that I've learned and, and the things that I've seen, it, it's great that I can have an impact for, for the future or, or at least try to have a voice for it.